around five months ago, there was an individual by the name of Low Key Savage. And now, Mr. Low Key Savage had an interesting little bit of information about him that he didn't want to release to the public, or maybe he did. But previously on a Twitter account that was confirmed to be his, he identified himself as a uh, the MAP. And if you don't know what that stands for, then thank God you don't. But it's uh, it's it's not a good look. Uh, it's basically a way for people that are hmm pedophiles or go on the edge of that, and they just blatantly admit that that's what they are. And so what they try to do is they try to normalize it, and that's basically what an a, uh, MAP really is. Uh, so Mr. Loki Savage decided to take it upon himself to post that all over Twitter for whatever reason. And shortly after, I believe his account was either suspended or deleted, one or the other. He then went ahead, made his YouTube channel, which didn't have many subscribers, mind you. But the thing about that is, Luke has shown that he has no problem going after smaller content creators just for the sole purpose of, wait, what again? I, I don't know. I really don't even know. I guess for being cloud chasers, which is really, really a minimal argument at best. However, it's worth noting that for some godforsaken reason, Luke didn't go after Mr. Loki Savage. Instead, he had Mr. Loki Savage in his server for the longest time. Now, granted, I'll give Luke the little bit of the benefit of the doubt here. He didn't know that Loki Savage was there because Loki Savage makes, you know, different names and wasn't going by Loki Savage anymore after he got exposed by Harley TBS of all people. Uh, the, the same guy Luke is trying to bash and, uh, you know, bury, essentially discredit. It's funny though, it's really funny how it works, so let me tell you why. Uh, Loki Savage <laughs> was indeed an individual that proclaimed to be an MAP, and yet Luke did nothing about it. It took Luke the longest time to even figure out this guy was on his server, right? And not only that, but even if he was a small content creator, he was still kind of a danger, in a sense. Because he was still hanging around the Yandere dev community. So it just kind of goes to show you even more how incompetent and petty Luke is. See, Luke would rather take shots at children, right? Children that are going to expose him for being a lying, deceptive, manipulative person than moral grandstands to defend himself from criticism. He'd rather go after those people, right? He'd rather go after people like Just Stop and Harley. But when it comes to exposing Mr. Loki Savage, he doesn't do that because not not enough. It, it's not enough for Luke to get the clout that he wants, right? Because Luke will go after big targets like Mini Lad and whatnot, and maybe some unknowns here and there just so they can't defend themselves and he can just brand them as he wants and sees fit. But, you know, it, it always boggled my mind as to why he never decided to call out Loki Savage, you know? Luke was in the Yandere Dev community, he was heavily invested in the Yandere Dev community. Supposedly, everybody said that he did his research, again, supposedly. So if he actually did all this research and had all this inside knowledge and he was really, you know, the pedo the pedophile uh, hunter of sorts, right? And he, he stood up for justice, why the hell? Did Luke let this guy walk free, basically, right? Because <laughs> it wasn't, it's not like it wasn't, uh, you know, fresh news. And I've seen Luke go after other people for way less. I mean, Loki Savage literally had a lot of incriminating evidence against him. And again, I've seen Luke go after others for much, much less. So it kind of, kind of has to make you wonder, how credible is Luke? How much of a petty shit stain is he really? Does he only do things for certain reasons? Does he only go after certain individuals for certain reasons? At that point, you're going to have to understand that Luke is not as genuine as he wants you to believe. And that's the bottom line because, well, it's factually correct and because I said so, of course.